as the old saying goes, he who laughs last, laughs best. Wendy Williams seems to be having the last laugh as she has successfully cut off her ex-husband Kevin Hunter and his mistress Sharina Hudson, putting an end to their 15-year affair. Despite Kevin's attempts to extort more money from Wendy, it seems that Sharina has had enough and is now reportedly leaving him to deal with his own financial troubles and support his family on his meager salary. The ongoing drama surrounding Wendy Williams' divorce from her ex-husband Kevin Hunter continues to escalate and it appears that he is about to face yet another rejection, this time from Sharina. To find out more about this developing situation, be sure to stay tuned to the entire video. It's almost impossible to miss the news that Kevin Hunter has filed for bankruptcy since Wendy Williams stopped paying him alimony. Many believe that Sharina is a fraud who uses others to fund her extravagant lifestyle. It's not surprising, given that Sharina has been living off of Wendy for more than a decade. She's enjoyed a lavish lifestyle thanks to Kevin, who has been using Wendy's money to shower Sharina with gifts and finance her impractical business ventures since the beginning of their relationship. Sharina had the audacity to sleep with Kevin while he was still married to Wendy and convinced him to leave his wife, despite his initial reluctance to do so. In the end, Sharina got what she wanted when Wendy filed for divorce after learning of Sharina's pregnancy. Sharina will turn 37 in 2023. It's hard not to wonder how Sharina reacted when she discovered that Wendy had outsmarted them both, leaving Kevin Hunter with nothing. Sharina may have believed she had hit the jackpot, living a life of luxury without any responsibilities or the need to work for minimum wage or deal with difficult colleagues and bosses. However, there are rumors that Kevin and Sharina's relationship is now in trouble due to Sharina's constant bullying on Instagram and Kevin's attempts to extort more money from Wendy by airing his alimony grievances in public. It's worth noting that Wendy Williams will not be paying Kevin Hunter any child support. According to Radar, the former executive producer of The Wendy Williams Show recently asked a New Jersey judge to order his ex-wife to continue paying him alimony. However, the judge denied his request, stating that Hunter's needs were not urgent and dismissed the case without prejudice. Additionally, the judge also denied Hunter's request for Williams to pay for his legal representation. However, in the court papers, the judge stated that the parties are to participate in binding arbitration, indicating that the judge recommended that Hunter and Williams try mediating their dispute instead of going to court. The 50-year-old Hunter was married to Williams from 1999 to 2020. The issues surrounding the severance payments, and they are disputed and therefore need to be mediated, the document stated. In November 2022, Hunter filed a motion requesting the reinstatement of his regular alimony payments from his former wife, the daytime diva, after they had ceased in February 2022. He claimed that he was currently unable to pay his bills and was broke. I have fallen behind on most of my bills, the father of two, who shares a son, Kevin Hunter Jr. with Williams and most recently a young daughter with partner Sharina Hudson, claimed in the motion. I currently live in a community that requires payments to the homeowner association and I'm behind on that bill. If the homeowner's association fees are not paid foreclosure will soon follow, Hunter noted of his current situation. My car insurance hasn't been paid as a result of not receiving monthly severance payments. I'm behind on credit card payments because I have no money since the severance payments were suspended. So far, this seems to be a win for Wendy, but if Hunter presses for mediation, this win just might be short-lived. The parties are to participate in binding arbitration, the judge said in a statement. The issues surrounding the severance payments, and they are disputed and therefore need to be mediated. Hunter, who is 50 years old, filed a lawsuit claiming that his former wife, the ex-shock jock, stopped paying him alimony after being released from her position at Talk WW, the company responded responsible for producing The Wendy Williams Show. As a result of her suspension from the popular daytime talk program, Wendy's attorneys filed a motion for divorce, citing the star's financial difficulties. In October 2021, around the time she was absent from the show due to multiple health issues, official records showed that she was no longer receiving a paycheck. On October 15, 2021, plaintiff was informed by Talk WW that her contract was being suspended and that no compensation shall accrue or be payable to plaintiff for the duration of plaintiff's disability and incapacity, stated William's attorney. In addition, they pointed out that Hunter had understood and agreed that all severance payments shall be subject to either termination or modification if Wendy's contract was not renewed and or otherwise suspended, cancelled, or terminated. Although the details of how Hunter and Sharina Hudson first met are unknown to us, they have been in a relationship for a long time. Wendy Williams acknowledged this during an interview with Sirius XM in 2021. She said, This side girl for almost 15 years of our marriage. I've known about her almost since the beginning. That kind of tells you why Wendy once towed Sharina's car. It is rumored that Hunter and Hudson first met in 2007 at a New York City party hosted by Wendy Williams. Since then, photos of the couple have surfaced online. Sharina Hudson's age is speculated to be in her mid-30 seconds, and she reportedly worked as a massage therapist in New York City. In March 2019, she gave birth to their daughter, who is known as Kevin Hunter's love child. 
Hudson's Instagram bio lists several professions, including writer, designer, chef, and entrepreneur. She turned to a vegan lifestyle after struggling with a bacterial condition and now operates a business called Vegan Nose, which focuses on vegan foods and nutrition. She also founded Vish, a line of high-end athletic clothing. After finalizing his divorce from Wendy Williams in 2020, Hunter seems to have settled into his new role as a father quite comfortably. Allegedly, he proposed to his baby mama with a huge diamond ring worth $80,000. The happy family has relocated to Florida, and recent photos show them spending time together with their daughter. As for the son, the former TV producer is now living as a local businessman in Boca Raton, where he runs a barbershop named Head Hunters. He and Hudson are reportedly raising their child together in a luxurious Coral Springs neighborhood. In contrast, Wendy Williams' busy lifestyle as a daytime talk show host is a far cry from living alone in a New York City penthouse. According to reports, Wendy has stopped communicating with her friends and an insider revealed to the U.S. Sun that she is skeptical about the success of her podcast. The source also added that in recent times, the former host has been making it a point to reach out to her former friends to meet up. She's been calling people saying like, hey, let's have dinner, but she's acting like all this time hasn't passed. It's this out of the blue call with no update on how she's doing or anything. When she reaches out, she acts as if we went out to eat last week. Additionally, according to The Insider, whenever she discusses personal matters, she tends to go on lengthy rants about her single status. Wendy Williams recently stated on The View that she is ready to move forward from the baby mama drama that has caused turmoil in her life this year. Despite being left by her producers and facing financial troubles, Wendy Williams' son has remained supportive of her. Wendy has no one in her life but Kevin. She never had close friends and hasn't spoken with her staff in months, a source squealed to Radar, pointing out he's acting like her manager again. After her mom died, Wendy didn't even have a family. All she has is Kevin. Last year, a judge decided that she could regain access to her frozen assets by appointing a financial guardian to manage her finances, indicating a more positive outlook for her. So, what are your thoughts on how all of this would play out? Tell us in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe and like. That's it for now. Goodbye.